shot. Yeah. Where did the ball go? I'll tell you what, when it went to Cleveland, because the Browns need a quarterback. Dennis Smith, you can make some money on the sky. On the I, feel like, I feel like World Wide Bob on Twitter did like a whole like forensic examination here. And Who was that? Who threw that one? get an answer. Oh, that's, that's, oh. oh. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's going on too. See, we were just talking during the break about passes yeah, that, outlet passes that don't go anywhere. Yeah, that's there a good we go. Angle. A helmet. <laughs> All right, Rob, we got you on this next one, too. This synchronization last night in OKC. Paul George and Steven Adams. The best clothes out all night. On the same page. Rob Price is going to come do Make or Miss for us soon. Kevin, why does this keep happening? This is a cosmic just serendipity here. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on. Um, other than brains are being shared in the NBA. Wow. <laughs> that's, the... that's certainly true on this set. Make complications. Listen, look at this. The Heat were down one in overtime, whiz inbounding. Now you count, it is over five seconds, which seems picky, except this, this, this game had like serious playoff implications. Is it okay to miss this call? Does the clock, should it start later? What, what are we doing here, Buck? I want to reduce it down to four. Imagine you could dis you could disincentivize calling timeout, make it even more exciting. Okay, but look at... Look, yeah, that's a problem. Let's, let's forget mean, your... That's your a problem. Yeah, I, How I don't big know what the is this? Uh, uh, let me tell you this. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anytime you can use a highly technical ver uh, way of counting by just throwing your hand out like this, I'm not like, going to question that rep. This that is like measuring with the chains, which drives me <laughs> yes. crazy. We've been like eyeing it for the last three downs, but on the fourth down, we're the taking the right chains two. out and we're taking three, the piece of paper and going. Four. Like this. See that? that, that fourth. I want to yeah, get the, to the, the Denver Dallas game. Of one Mississippi exactly. Speaking of a game with playoff implications, Nikola Jokic did not play at all in the fourth quarter last night. Denver needs wins. Denver did not get a win. They lost to the Mavericks, who, by the way, needs lo need losing. Yeah. This game was a disaster for everyone. Here is head coach Mike Malone after the game. Well, uh, effort is a big part of it. I, I give the guys that were in there in the fourth quarter uh, a lot of credit because they went out there and played hard. Malik Beasley, Will Barton, Devin Harris, Trey Lyles, Macy Plumlee. Those guys went out there and competed and, uh, and were able to get some stops and, and cut it to, I think, maybe five a few times. Okay, so if you ask the Nuggets this morning, are they singing that thing? Yeah, I mean, what they, what they would tell you is, hey, wait a minute. You know, this is this happens all the time in the league, right? Like the, the unit that brings you back and brings the energy after him. You saw some of Jokic's uh, lackadaisical defense. Didn't he last just time. tell us Jokic was an MVP candidate yeah, like two weeks ago? And, and he would say that, look, uh, yeah, there, there was last night a double-digit lead was cut to five by a very specific unit. Uh, and by the way, Jamal Murray didn't play. Was he benched as well? They have a back-to-back -back at Cleveland tonight, and that would be sort of the, the, the party line. And I think there's some sense to that. I think there's also some sense in this. I mean, look at this. This is embarrassing. <laughs> and look, Michael Malone is a guy who's not afraid to challenge players. And well, to the extent that I think that was one part that's... of the equation right now. And the other was, hey, there were guys out there busting their butts to get a, you know, a, a game they shouldn't have been trailing by double digits back to gettable. That's the part I want to hone in on is Mike Moe's a straight shooter. That's what makes him a great coach. That's what made him get through to DeMarcus Cousins great, at a time Sacramento. when nobody could get through to DeMarcus Cousins, right? And part of being a straight shooter is sometimes you've got to shoot straight, right? So a week ago... He's telling you the absolute truth. He believes that Nikola Jokic, we need to get rid of all the qualifiers, not best young big, not mm -hmm. best international big. Maybe he's not the best player in the game, yeah. right? But at the same time, that doesn't mean he can do no wrong. And we saw in, that, in those clips that we saw last night, he was doing some wrong. Well, if he that's was, the case, then, then it was a benching. But... Then Mike, it was not just... But Mike doesn't need to tell fine. us. But he doesn't wife, need to tell us that, Which is right? fine, but then you say... No, but he is a guy who will send message with lineup decisions, right? And he will also tell you well, this morning. Then, right? then, then it's a benching. And he also then tell it's you this morning like, that he's oh, still hey, our the, best player. I mean, oh, hey, the, the, the bench unit brought us back, so that's not why... Right, right so we can critique so his messaging yeah. after the game. But I, you know, I think it was probably a combination of both. I mean, it's never just one thing in the NBA, right? To win that game. I want to get to other teams that need to lose games. Tank Wars! Come on! The NBA and the Bulls had a, quote... Discussion about harassing healthy players. As a result, Chicago now has to play veteran starters Robin Lopez and Justin Holiday more minutes. I believe Yahoo first reported that we sent them a memo basically chastising them over this. Plot twist, right? When this rule came in in all season, we thought Spurs, Warriors, you were on the clock. Right. No more funny business. And here is one of the worst teams in the league. You know what? I, this just burns me up, right? I mean, right. Like, the league, first of all, has this stupid incentive structure. But then they have the chutzpah to basically start micromanaging lineups. By the way, what does it say to David Waba? Is the league basically saying, I mean, oh, oh, the fans <laughs> of Chicago are being cheated out of Justin Holiday. Yes! Uh, and having to be subjected to, by the way, David Waba, a guy who shoots considerably better from the field than Justin this, Holiday. This is, this okay? 
They, they have a four-year, $32 million deal to, to Felicio. What more do you need to glean about Robin Lopez, a guy who's not going to be on your team when you're contending in four years? You've got to get this kid reps. He's not playing well. You need to see what he can do in competitive environments. Well, it's fascist. This is, well, you're this you're is, micromanaging this is, lineups. And, 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 it's ridiculous. We've gotten all the way to fascism. The, 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 the other Please crazy part in. is, right, usually when, we, when they put in this rule talking about the Spurs, the Warriors, the best teams, resting guys, right? So if you made them dress and they played one minute, it would be very, very apparent. What, what do you do in Chicago? You, you make these guys dress up and they play one minute and they sit for the rest of the game. Now what are you going to do? You complain you didn't play enough minutes? Right? <laughs> the league needs you to can't, get... I like that you, you guys can't, got to You can't regulate it. You can't regulate it. He got the... Tim Frank, you text him this time, not me. I mean, the league needs to get out of, I'm sorry, the lineup dictation. See, he, I'm going to get a call. I mean, okay, I will then play they the other side. The and producer structure. Steve is like, we have to go to commercial. But I will play the other side and only say this. You cannot disincentivize fans from watching regular season games. The regular season They're not watching those games. Oh, I'm sorry, is Robin Lopez an attraction? <laughs> Justin Holiday, a guy who was cut by Atlanta? No, just, I mean, I'm only disrespectful. No, no, I already. love yeah. Robin Lopez. I think he's a wonderful, he'll be a wonderful contributor, probably on a more contending team. But there's like this idea that they're being, it's not like they're sitting LeBron here. I mean, there you go. My God. Choice Nation is next, Trump right? No, oh, no, we got today. more. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, that, this is awesome. I want everyone to stop for a minute. We have a fan page account on Twitter. It is the NBA Jump fan page. They live tweet the shows, recap our discussions daily. It is a great way to follow along for those of you who listen to our podcast as well. Shout out Jump fan page. Thank you.